In this lesson, we are going to learn about what is a phase, what is phase difference and what is a phaso. Okay, so we are talking about phase, phase difference and phaso. Okay, let's first understand what do we mean by in phase. Okay, let's just say I have two AC voltages, V1 is equal to V1M sin omega t and v2 is equal to v2m sin omega t okay now if i were to plot these voltages as a function of theta okay your theta is simply omega t right then i am going to get a curve which is going to be something like this okay so this is going to be my curve let's just say this is your v1 curve and this is your v2 curve okay if you're saying this is your v1 curve then basically you're assuming that v1m is greater than v2m okay or the peak voltage of v1 which is this guy is greater than peak voltage of v2 which is this guy okay if you look at these two curves you are going to realize that both of these curves are getting their maximum voltage at the same point okay also both of these curves are getting their minimum voltage at the same point okay so if this condition is met if two voltages are attaining their maximum and minimum value at same instant then we say that the two voltages or in general the two AC quantities okay it could be either a AC voltage or a AC current and we say that these two voltages or current are in phase okay so over here your V1 and V2 are in phase because both of the guys are attaining their maximum and minimum position at the same instant okay now let's just say you have your v1 voltage as v1m sin omega t okay you have another ac voltage let's say it is v2 which is equal to v2m sin omega t plus 60 okay and you have another voltage v3 which is equal to v3m sin omega t minus 60 okay so let's try to draw these curves okay let me just tell you i'm quite sure you already must be knowing that if you have a curve let's just say this is your f of x okay and if now you want to trace f of x minus a then all you have to do is you have to shift your fx along x by a distance of a okay so if you want to trace f of x minus a then all you have to do is just shift your fx by a distance of a along x okay so this is your f of x minus a assuming this distance is a okay so in general if you know how to trace curve f of x then in order to trace f of x minus a all you have to do is push the whole curve in x direction by a distance of a okay similarly if you want to find out what is f of x plus a then you can write this as f of x minus minus a okay so basically if you want to trace f of x plus a you have to push your curve fx along x direction by a distance of minus a which basically means you have to push it in this side okay so whenever 